And so, in retiring as president of this college, it is indeed a painful task to bid you all goodbye. And now, with the utmost pleasure, may I present to you the man who is to guide the destinies of this great institution, Professor Quincy Adams Wagstaff. Professor, it is indeed an honor to welcome you to Huxley College. Never mind that. Hold this coat. Uh, by the way, Professor, there is no smoking. That's what you say. It would please the faculty if you would throw your cigar away. The faculty members might just as well keep their seats. There'll be no diving for this cigar. <clears throat> members of the faculty? Faculty members, students of Huxley, and Huxley students. I guess that covers everything. Well, I thought my razor was dull until I heard his speech. And that reminds me of a story that's so dirty, I'm ashamed to think of it myself. As I look out over your eager faces, I can readily understand why this college is flat on its back. The last college I presided over, things were slightly different. I was flat on my back. Things kept going from bad to worse, but we all put our shoulders to the wheel, and it wasn't long before I was flat on my back again. Any questions? Any answers? Any rags? Any bones? Any bottles? Today, any rags? Let's have some action around here. Who'll say 76? Who'll say 1776? That's the spirit, 1776. No doubt you would like to know why I'm here. I came into this college to get my son out of it. I remember the day he left to come here, a mere boy and a beardless youth. I kissed them both goodbye. By the way, where is my son? Young lady, would you mind getting up so I can see the sunrise? So, doing your homework in school, eh? Hello, old-timer. 